What's going on guys, in this video I want to talk about why I don't bench heavy anymore, alright? People would look at my chest and they would assume that I'm repping 315 every time I go and have a chest workout, but that is not the case, alright? If you've seen my last chest workout on YouTube, I barely do 200 pounds, but the way that I train is so different than only focusing on the weight. First thing you gotta understand is that your muscle, your chest, don't know the weight on the bar. Your chest don't say, oh, there's 315, now we have to grow. No, your chest only contracts under tension. Muscles only understand tension. Whether you have elastics, whether you're carrying, I don't know, 10 pounds or 50 pounds, or you're carrying something else, or you're doing a push-up, you're putting the resistance on your chest and your chest is contracting under that resistance, depending on how much resistance you have in there. All right, so that's the first thing. Understand that not, it's not the weight that will determine your progress. A lot of people think that because you're benching 225 and you're part of the 225 club on the bench, well, you will have a chest of someone doing 225. It has nothing to do with that, all right? The weight used is just a tool for us bodybuilders that wanna build muscle mass to get a certain uh, desired outcome. So we use that weight as a tool. It's like putting a nail and the wall and you have a hammer the hammer is the tool you don't focus on the hammer you focus on the nail and slowly you do you give some hits on the head of the nail instead of having the hammer and try to give crazy hits right it doesn't make sense so that's the first thing you focus on the muscle you don't focus on the weight second thing I don't lift heavy because the risk of injury is so much higher. Yes, I can grow by lifting heavy and doing 315, but then I'm putting a lot more risk of injury on my tendons and I'm getting my chest to failure in other ways. As long as I'm getting my chest to failure, I'm getting a good workout, right? But I can do it with heavy weights, low reps, or I can do it with higher reps, but uh, lower weight and increasing more supersets, drop sets, all right? And I do that for longevity. I've been training for over 13 years and my goal is not getting injured. My goal is keep doing it for years and years and years, all right? I don't wanna be stressing my life every time I'm doing a PR and maybe I'm injured, maybe I didn't sleep well. So many power lifters that I've been meeting lately, they've been so much injured, all right? So the way that I train as a bodybuilder, I'll do more time under tension and control the weight down. So instead of having the 225 and just ripping it like that, well, I'll take my time down. I go, uh, I make sure that I'm activating my chest as much as possible when I'm pressing the weight, all right? Kind of isolate it, get focus on that mind-muscle connection, slow down the negative rep. And trust me, it's just a big game changer instead of just having the 315 and do one rep, cheating a bit, but then what do I get out of this, all right? I don't even, get as much results of it, all right? You don't get as much results in terms of building muscle mass when you're lifting heavier weights for PRs. You might get stronger, but it's not enough time under tension. And a lot of time you'll be compensating with other muscles. You'll be, you'll be kinda uh, just doing whatever it takes to move the weight from A to B. Whereas how we train bodybuilders is mostly an internal work, all right? Activating your chest, closing your eyes if you need to, to really get inside the muscle. All right, so that's it. I get a lot of comments. Oh, well, you should bench more. Why are you losing lightweight? Well, trust me, my chest is pumped every single set I do with maybe 200 pounds because of the way I do it, because I control the weight and I isolate my chest as much as possible. And this is something that I've learned throughout the years. When I started working out, I was doing PRs and I couldn't even feel my chest when I was benching, trust me. But then with years and maturity in the gym, then you start to kind of know how to lift properly to engage and activate the right muscle. It's something that takes years, all right? It's not something that you'll get from one day to another, but thank God I have this ability that I built, so why can't I use it to my advantage? The goal is making the light weight harder instead of making the hard weight easy. A lot of people will take hard weight. Uh, what exercise, what exercise? I would see it a lot on, well, on the bench. A lot of people would take the bench and then as soon as they're done, boom, they're bouncing it and they're just kind of uh, cheating their way up. Yes, they completed a rep, but how much tension was there on the chest as opposed to going half that weight and controlling the weight down, squeezing on the way up, maybe keeping that tension a little bit halfway, playing with the, uh, with the tempo, you know, and that way you'll get a lot more results. So yeah, that's it. I don't train for, uh, yes, it hurts the ego, but I don't train for strength or to show off at the gym. I, most of the time people actually are surprised because I lift lightweight and sometimes I'm screaming 
but that's what it takes and that's what helped me build the body that i have and there you go i'll see you guys in the next one and uh do i do that for every muscle where there are some times that lifting heavy is important all right i'm not saying for everything yes there are some sets that i would go a little bit heavier on the squats sometimes on the overhead press on the bench i'll do some sets of heavy weights but that's not even five percent of my workouts all right there was a video of franco colombo and arnold talking and uh, so they were training uh, back in the days and the golden era stars right and uh, franco was saying that when they were coming to take videos of them the photograph would ask them to load the bar with weight just for the purpose of uh, having an impressive video and then after that they would go back on taking off the weight and just doing more reps so that was the way that they would train so there you have it guys i'll see you in the next one ciao